many of you know of the Winchester 94. This is really an all-American classic, but what is it like to shoot for those who are new to it or really don't know about the rifle? That's what I'm going to be talking about today. So let's jump into my first impressions and overall thoughts on the Winchester 94. <coughs> so to start off with it, I've broken this down into a few points, but we're going to be talking about recoil. And that's because it's one of the first things that kind of surprised me about this rifle, kind of caught me off guard. I guess I was going more into this, kind of expecting it to have a similar recoil to like an AK or something that shot like a 7.62x39, but it definitely is a little bit stouter than that and a little bit more noticeable. You guys can kind of tell in the shooting footage, it really kind of just like pushes you back a little bit. Certainly not bad in this recoil pad. Definitely does or makes it really not that painful at all to shoot. Just a little bit noticeable when you shoot it because it has some serious, or not serious, because it has some noticeable recoil on it. But like I said, it's definitely not bad to shoot. So the next thing to talk about is the action. Of course, with the lever action, this is pretty much what makes or breaks a good lever action rifle because every single time you go to shoot, you have to run this action, of course, to cycle the round. So, or to cycle out the old, the spent round and cycle in the new round. <clears throat> so with this gun, and of course this is, or I should say this is a 60s uh, Winchester 94, so this isn't quite what they have brand new, because those aren't necessarily the most impressive guns, but uh, the action on this uh, Winchester is really buttery smooth. I have to say that it's really clean to operate, and it's overall no complaints on it. It cycles good, it cycles fast. I will say about the only thing that I've noticed with it is, and this is something to kind of be expected because it is shooting a rifle caliber cartridge as opposed to a pistol caliber cartridge. So the hammer is a little bit stiffer, so if you don't really rack the action on it, the hammer can sometimes make it really hard. And try and see, yeah, like if you just kind of start trying to rack it back really softly like this, you really have to push past that uh, hammer. Certainly will cycle, but when the hammer is down, the action is just buttery smooth. I mean, I think you guys can see here, you know, just, just how smooth this action really is. So it's a really smooth action, especially all things being considered um, with the whole fact that the floor plate kind of drops out and everything. You know, people expect this gun probably to have a sti pretty stiff and kind of hard action, but it's pretty smooth. And of course, one of the claim to fames kind of of the 94 is due to the fact that it does have this extra pivot here. The throw of the lever, while it's not super short, is definitely shorter than something like a Marlin 336 or something that shoots a rifle caliber cartridge. So I do like that. So the next thing is accuracy. This is the next area where this gun really impressed me. Overall, the barrel seems to be a really good shooting barrel. Uh, I don't think it really throws any like flyers. I didn't really experience any of that. Granted, I've only you know shot a handful of rounds. This is my first impressions. But from what I could see at 50 yards, it was grouping pretty tightly. You know, uh, shooting at like a. Uh, just a standard paper plate. And I was getting, you know, inch groupings, and that wasn't where I was really trying. I wasn't like on the bench, bench resting this gun, trying to get really good groupings. But you know, I was pretty comfortably getting inch, inch and a half groupings out of three to four shots. And I think that was attributed, you know, one to the barrel, but primarily to the sights, which I know you guys, it'll be a little bit hard to see because these are hooded. But the front sight on this is basically essentially a post sight that gets slimmer and slimmer and tapers up to a round uh, kind of white dot or like it's white in the center with black all around it. But it's really visible and the back sight of course is just a rear notch. This is not a buckhorn styled sighting system. This is just a rear notch cut with that front circle post and it works and mates really well with each other. Of course, the hooded front sight makes it really nice when you're shooting uh, in the sunlight. The sunlight won't hit the post and it also protects the front sight. But like I said, the, <coughs> the sights really were accurate for me and granted I have pretty good sight but I had no issues getting on target accurately with them. And then the next thing that kind of surprised me is I have shot a lot of lever actions but this Winchester has a really good trigger. Granted, it is a little bit surprising because if you look, 
There's no trigger spring in here, and that's, I guess, pretty normal for Winchesters of this age. Um, there's no trigger spring, so the trigger just kind of flops around, does whatever it wants, but when you do put it all the way back and you get ready to pull the trigger, it has an extremely clean brake. It's a single stage. There's no creep in the trigger. There's no play in it. There's no, like, gumminess in the trigger, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, it just, you pull, 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 and then it just breaks. There's no movement in the trigger until it just breaks. And so I really love the trigger on this thing. It is nice. So lastly, we're getting into the reason of why I got this gun, and do I think it fits that situation, or do I think it fits its purpose well, and uh, what I intend to do with this rifle. So the primary reason I got this rifle is to work for horseback hunting and horseback protection. Because a lot of the places my wife and I ride <coughs> are in the backcountry, prime places for black bear. We need something that could stop black bear if they decide they want to attack us. And it's also nice to have for hunting uh, on horseback because the 3030 caliber is very good at taking out things like deer, things like moose, and it'll do those jobs excellently. So. Those are the primary reasons why I got this rifle, because this gun, unlike the AK or like bolt actions, it fits really well into a scabbard. Of course, this, especially being a Winchester with its smaller receiver than like a Marlin or others that are side ejecting lever guns, it has a very slim receiver and the gun's weight work really well for just throwing it into a scabbard and it not taking up much space or not really being obtrusive and it also still being very effective of course this gun's round capacity is seven so that's another plus as opposed to like a bolt action rifle where you only get five shots so definitely pluses on those ends and like i said that's the primary drive of why i got this gun <clears throat> and i do think it fits really well into the those uh, purposes and this one does fit really well into my scabbard in particular it's compact size buries pretty well into the scabbard so it's not just gonna like flop out and then of course like I said because it's slim it just slides right in <coughs> so then lastly the only thing I really want to add to this rifle of course is being an older Winchester there's really not much that I could add to it like there's no scope mounting or anything like that which is totally okay for me because like I said I got it with the intentions of it being more of a brush gun like I said lastly is just adding a side saddle on here or what I think side saddle there's really not like a proper name for it but basically just a side saddle on the side to carry an extra round or extra basically magazine full of extra cartridges on the side of the saddle plus also having a bit of leather on here it makes it a little bit more comfortable because wood can kind of get cold in the cold so it's nice to have that extra bit of leather uh, plus the extra rounds. So that's the only thing I really am going to add to this gun. I'm going to keep it pretty basic because once again with the whole brush gun, you know, I don't want a whole lot of things hanging off of it that could trip up. I know this rifle is equipped with uh, sling studs, but I don't think I'm going to add a sling to it because once again, my primary objective for this rifle is for it to be in a scabbard on a horse. That is my first impressions and overall impressions of the Winchester 94. Like I said, this is a 60s model, so it is a little bit older. I don't really like the newer Winchesters, personally from what I've seen, their quality control from the Japanese plant has gone downhill. And it's really sad because uh, Winchester was known as being like the guns that won the West, and they really don't live up to that anymore, sadly. But luckily the older ones still exist and they are still out there. And these ones do live up to the name of guns that won the West.